Hi ladies, welcome back to our channel. So I wanna look at school schedules so you guys get a better idea of what it looks like for us. Obviously we change it every year depending on our kids' needs, what's working for us. This year I am homeschooling three out of four kids. Our youngest is one and then we have a kindergartner, a third grader, and a fifth grader. Alrighty, so this is what their schedule looks like. Typically I have one schedule instead of each individual child and then they use my schedule and they figure out what they need to do next and what we need to do together and so forth. But this year, because my two older ones are in fifth and third, they really wanted their own schedule. That way they can go ahead and work on their independent work whenever they have downtime. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about our kindergartner schedule first. So we would like to follow this schedule, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this is definitely not the year for the times on here. I feel like we typically aim to start at 9 30 that usually happens sometimes we'll start at 10 but usually 9 30 but we definitely do not finish by 3 or 3 30 we usually finish at 4 or 5 so it's definitely taking us a lot longer than it typically would which is 9 30 to 3 30 and that's because we have our one-year-old who interrupts obviously he has a lot more needs since he's so little but typically what it looks like it's this is monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday we have off here are some options for their friday activities we used to do a co-op this year with corona and everything we decided to take the year off so usually our co-op is on Thursday, so usually it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Friday. But it works out really nice this year to have consecutive days. So typically we start off with our morning basket. Again, that doesn't happen because usually our baby is awake at that time. So this was me apparently dreaming of it because it's not typical for us to actually get our morning basket in. So this actually gets bumped to our work together. We do those together at some point during the day. I wish I could tell you when, but I will just give you an overview of what it looks like. So usually I help her with her math and her language arts we're doing the 100 easy lessons and obviously she needs help with both of them so I'll read to her the directions and then go through the lesson with her so this is what I usually help her with and as I'm helping her with that I will basically jump over and do the same thing with the other kids the third grader and the fifth grader I basically guide them through their math and then come to their language arts I basically have to do full language arts with my third grader and then our fifth grader is more independent on her language arts but I basically jump between them for math and language arts to help them whenever they need it and then typically what happens is there's sometimes downtime like for example if I'm working with her on 100 easy lessons and my third grader let's say somehow is done with math and language arts for the day she has two options so she could either go to her daily chore or she can move on to independent work and there's a list it should take about an hour obviously in this case it takes a little longer that's because reading egg we've actually removed so it should be around an hour mark of independent work and each child has the independent work and so that's kind of what it looks like they can pretty much do all this on their own and I needed that because I needed a lot of the in-between time when I didn't know what they should do if I was with the baby or if I was helping let's say our fifth grader and the two of them were waiting I didn't want them to just waste time and sit around so I just created this independent work and so I have a different list for the daily chore they're getting better about just knowing what it is but that's basically in the kitchen and then at some point if they finish math and language arts either their chore or their independent work so notice this is not really in the afternoon anymore then we can go ahead and pretty much I tell them that it's lunchtime. Usually we have lunch around one or two. Like I said, things are a little bit different this year. And then our together work comes at some point, typically when the baby is sleeping. So I basically will do the Devo's hymnal and our social studies or our Devo's character study and then social studies again. And notice science is on Wednesday and Thursday. So we do two days of social studies and two days of science. I'm going to be honest, there are definitely days when the baby is sleeping and he wakes up a bit too early and we haven't even gotten to our together work. So so then I do it obviously when he is awake, but it does create a lot of interruptions. So that is, has been a challenge. And if you watched my day in a life, you'll notice that he interrupts a lot and we're okay with that. Obviously this is just a chapter of life that we're in. So I'm going to talk to you about what independent work looks like, at least for a kindergartner, and then just kind of skim through for the third grader and fifth grader because they're similar, except for she has a more, just easier for her to do. So 10 frame dice, this is what I do with her at some point during the day, or she needs to count by twos that she can do on her own. Also I do piano with her or she'll practice piano and this is really hard obviously because I want her to do it on her own because I have to split my time between three other kids and a baby but usually I'll do a lesson with her using Hoffman Academy and then I record some kind of song for her to play along and I'll have her play it as she's practicing the song that I've recorded for her so that has helped a lot I didn't know what to do for the actual practice on her own because she is only five and that's really hard for a five-year-old to be basically independent practicing their piano but it has worked really really well and then the pink 
pink stuff are the things that she does on the tablet and so they're in pink just to help her figure out what she's doing because obviously she doesn't fully know how to read yet so this is just really hard for her but she's getting the hang of what's what on here since we've used it for seven weeks now so typing she does for 15 minutes honestly I wouldn't even do it for a kindergartner but I just needed her to have more things to do and so I just brought up typing because she's super excited about it and then she practices her Bible verse and independently and the way I do that again is I record myself saying it and then she repeats it after me on the recording it has helped so much because I feel like I have a second person which is a recording of me um, and then she does her handwriting sheet that is obviously super easy I just have to get it to her and then she just does the letter for that day she also does teach your monster to read for 15 minutes she has a puzzle that she does for A to Z and she has to say the sounds so I basically just have to like kind of like hear it out if I'm helping the other kids and then she has just a workbook she doesn't really need to get this done but it's just something else that she really enjoys it's a sweet little workbook that she does and then reading eggs for 20 minutes so if you notice obviously this is more like filling in the gaps and using like online resources to help her but the main part that we do with her is obviously the math the language arts and the actual together work social studies and science when it comes to phonics I haven't even introduced it because I'm okay with waiting until first grade to bring that in so here's the third grader and the fifth grader they are super super similar in terms of schedule I had to cross out reading eggs because I accidentally printed out the schedule without taking that off their independent work is supposed to be around an hour and so therefore obviously we had to eliminate a few things they get time for it great if they don't it's not a big deal so it's the same layout in terms of we do Singapore dimensions and language arts and I help them through it notice the major part is the independent work it's a little different than our kindergartner she has math facts to go over for 10 minutes she has to practice piano for 20 minutes typing 20 minutes cursive is super quick I feel like it might take five minutes and then she has to read for 20 minutes I do like to hear her read out loud but that is not always the case and so I'm okay with her as long as she's just reading 20 minutes on the school days so when they are done with all of this let's say we've already had lunch we did our together work sometimes I will give them educational screen time just so that they can actually use some of the subscriptions that we have so we actually pay for zookeeper reading eggs are just on a free trial prodigy is actually free Khan Academy is free and adventure Academy I believe we still have a membership with them but these are just a few of the things that I allow if they are done with chore independent work and I'm not able to help them they could definitely drop to here or sometimes I just give them educational screen time because we don't do regular screen time on a school night it's just educational screen time and then Friday it's the same thing they get to choose any of these or sometimes we just have play dates it just depends now our fifth grader schedule looks very very similar the only difference if you notice is language arts it looks like she's super ahead on her language arts versus our third grader looks like she's behind that's actually not the case it's just that we started off with the good and the beautiful for both of them and I ended up switching her I believe is either last week or the previous week but we ended up switching just recently and so I started her on first language lessons for a well-trained mind and so obviously she's more towards the beginning of the lessons and she's more into it this is only 90 lessons so I'm not concerned about getting caught up because we do it four days a week and it's actually only twice a week so this will work out great but I really like how this works initially it was definitely hard for our kindergartner because she couldn't read and she didn't know what any of it said so I would just say okay here's what you're working on now and I would put a little dot by it and she'd know that's what she's working on so when she was done she was able to check it off and I did that for a while and now she's starting to get the hang of it so she'll come to me and say oh I already did my piano like her piano practice or I already did my IEW writing and so she's starting to figure out where everything is located on here without actually being able to read so that's really neat because it does help out and it helps her to be more independent Alrighty, so there you have it. The schedules that we use for our kids. I don't know if you noticed, but they are color coordinated. I forgot to mention that. They correspond to the chore list and they're all color coordinated the same. And so each child is assigned a color and that way it just makes it easier. If I find one of these, let's say on the ground in the schoolroom, I know who it belongs to because their initials are on it and because of the color that they are assigned to. Go ahead and comment below on what your school schedule looks like. Is it different than ours or is it similar to ours? Don't forget to also hit like and subscribe so you can receive future videos as we release them weekly. Have a wonderful day.